Hi folks. Just had a muddy, muddy one for you. Didn't turn out to be too good. I'm, I'm using a bit of the Fabiano 130 pound studio practice paper. It can't, you can't really compare it with an artist's quality. It is a practice paper after all, but good nonetheless. So, in case you think that Sir Fabiano don't make any good papers, they do. All right, I'll give this a wet. So I try and make up a, a wooden type scene. I'm going for a bit of a barren stage with my watercolours at the moment. Won't last long. Uh, so it's good to, to swap, or for me to swap between watercolour, oil and acrylic. But it keeps things just a little bit fresh. Okay, we'll put in a sky. That's a, got a bit of sienna, raw sienna that is. And then a bit of bit of uh, burnt sienna too, go over the whole lot. This all fades. I have a little bit of a blue. Got a limited time to get the uh, initial washes in. Oh, okay, we'll uh, try that and I'll give you a little mute. The thing is with this paper, you never quite know how the water or the sky is going to turn out the way I do, wet and wet. But sometimes you can get some really good effects for that. But this paper does not um, like being fussed around with. Once you put your wash on, you've got a limited time to muck about with it. Otherwise, you can start getting these tie marks. But nonetheless, it's a good, good paper. So let's see what we can do with it. Put a bit of background in. Just palette, palette grey. I'll be covering up a lot of this. I very rarely use sable brushes. I've got lots of them, but I've got a whole range of squirrel mops. I'll show you what I've got. Uh, in sables and things. There's some of them. Uh, lovely, lovely, these are lovely brushes, script brushes. Bought a set of those, they're very good, very cheap. But they are very good for doing some detail. So I've got a tiny little one, yeah, this one here. A triple O. That was the most expensive. So there are those. Put those back there. Uh, those are those. Uh, all these screw them up. That I bought off John Blockley. Or was it David? No, it was David Bellamy. He was demonstrating for us years ago. And I paid 25 quid for that pro art. It's a very good brush for, for a mop. I've got another mop here. Oops. Uh, uh, these I use for oil. So that one doesn't belong. Some mop brushes that. Uh, my mate Alan Allen sent me and he gave up oil painting. Uh, 
that one he sent me. Not sure the lake. Large, all these have the extra squirrel brushes around. Look at that. Squirrels. Hardly use them. I suppose there's probably a couple of hundred pounds worth of brushes there in total, collected over many years. Uh, anyway, I, I do use them now, now and again. Okay, I'm going to just dry that. Also, this paper, is, if, if I don't like what I've painted on it, I can prime it with PVA glue and a, and a colour and do an oil painting or acrylic. Don't need to supply the paper with acrylic. But with oil, just in case somebody did mention that, uh, it, uh, the, uh, the acid in the oil paint will eat the paper eventually after many years but uh, Turner Constable they painted on oil paints on watercolour paper or well, that was probably much thicker than what we're using here okay so we'll uh, I'll put a bit of a oh let's uh, just just paint I'm using some lemon yellow here so if we get a better green Is grey. Now, when you're doing this sort of thing, just mix the colours. Now, I usually put in some rocks scraped out with a plastic card. So to do that, you need some dark. Right, okay, post the card. Because it's so easy, you're tempted to to think, oh, that looks good, I'll uh, do another one of those, and then you just overdo it. There's just a few little rocks, it's pretty obvious what they are. Okay, that'll do for that side. Now I'll get another side, the other side in. Move the clip. Not a lot of them on my little table here. Well, similar to the other side, just vary the colours. Clean the brush, I just want to put a bit of bit of bluey stuff. Just a pain, pain's way. I 
that works. Now if it's dried, you can cover it a little bit and it'll re-wet and then sleep. Okay, let that go. We'll give that a bit of a dry. Right, a little bit of dry brush. I want to get that blue. Okay, now go to a bit of bit of texturing in there. I'm going to use uh, Frank Clark's lovely hake, inch and a half hake. Oh, it compares with uh, oh, that's a forty-five mils. That's uh, oh, what's that? Twenty-five and a half. That's thirty-seven. Mill, inch and a half, inch and three quarters. But this has got more hairs in it, and it does some lovely, lovely things. So let's get in some nice green. Darker green. And we'll do a similar on the other side. Got a bit of shadow coming in under these trees. Right now, we can. I'm going to put some distance in there. A bit of water. Just a device for showing a bit of recession. Oh, going uphill there. Let's 
to go hell, hell, uphill. Right, well, let's push our luck and go put a, some uh, some uh, Pines in both sides, even up a little bit. No, it could be easier than that, could they? I'm going to use a little bit of goulash. Because we've lost the... Uh, Now, see so if we can do a bit of detail on there. Don't like this here, I've made a muck of that. So we could probably improve that by uh, covering up. Right, Clark's brush. So I'll we'll get up. Should be, I suppose, a light coming. Hmm.
Oh, look at that. This, uh, this uh, pine sky hasn't uh, <laughs> lost this, hasn't solidified enough. About three days ago, I squeezed it out of, from the tube, but it hasn't dried. It's going to be wasted now. Phone's going for junk call. Nobody I want to hear from. They're not on my list. They just get turned off. The plague, aren't they? I'll put it in a mount. That's it for today, folks. Oh, for the weekend. There we go. I'll just zoom them out a little bit. Okay, so an easy one to finish up with. But look how easy the pines were to do. I know they're not, I didn't take any care over them. I just put them in with the, the straight edge of the medium hake, which is losing all the hairs. Uh, but you can do it with a the, with the large hake, probably better. That's quite a nice green. Anyway, happy painting, have fun. I'll see you on Monday, if not before. Bye-bye.